Hi guys, today I want to talk about how I uh, install my uh, mm. motor system for your um, your foil board to get a uh, electric foil board. You know, uh, it's super super easy. You can see uh, that's my dual motor system. I have propeller right here. You know, that be right here. So the installation you can the hole right here. It just goes through your mast mount on your mask that's it and that's pretty much your whole installation it's super easy and uh, um, this pretty much uh, similar as the uh, foil drive um, but the foil drive is made for the pro i mean you know the guy who ever want to surf on that wave you know um, but uh, it's kind of distant between the shoreline to the wave so the foil drive give you uh, the little power goes through the distance and get on your wave uh, my motor system is close to the idea but uh, the difference is uh, I have double motor so this is a foil drive and I have single motor so if you are the beginner the so foil drive won't get you above the water, you know. Uh, it can get you move, but it won't get you above the water. You probably see some video, I mean, for the foil drive guy, and uh, they get a little speed and then pop up above the water. But for beginner, you don't have no, <laughs> you have no idea how to pop up the water. And with a single motor, there's no way. I mean, for the foil drive, there's no way to pop up the water for the beginner. And uh, my uh, motor system is good for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're pro or a beginner. I mean, that's enough power to get you above the water, get you on the foil, you know, on the foil. So what my uh, concern is, uh, this is made for everybody who ever had a wind foil board you know whenever you have wind foil board if it's no windy day you can just simply climb on your mask and keep riding on the you know on the water without wind without using, using the wind that's the market i'm uh, tied to you know uh not like a foil drive foil drive it's just made for the pro it's not made for everybody you know uh, Definitely for the beginner is no way to uh, get uh, above the water with the foil drive, but with my system you can. Okay, uh, I have a I have a single motor system. You know, uh, the mounting on the top pretty much uh, similar, and I uh, just show you on the dual motor system. It's easier to show you the way, and uh, that's a uh, common uh, mask. Uh, so this is a carbon mast, so um, the carbon mast uh, is lighter, but it's not really hollow inside. It's not like a, so this is aluminum mast, so I can put the wire, go through the mast, and then uh, come out from here, you know. Uh, but uh, in this way, and you see this is a, you know, will be stay outside. So that will be increase a little drag from here because it will stay in the water. Uh, that will be uh, less drag in this way. But uh, most people right now probably use a carbon mask very common. So you won't be able to do this way, you know. <laughs> so that's why this is a this is also a very easy way to do it. Um, so I already. Uh, uh, put a little uh, electric tape right here so you can see to protect the mask uh, like I said for the so for the everybody you can just leave the tape somewhere here you know some little distance right here so that's a, that's a foil right here you know that's a that's the way it goes to your board okay uh, if you want to uh, really try to uh, bump, to pump your board, you know, like a pro, you can just mount, you know, somewhere on the top. 
so they give you uh, enough speed to f to pump up, you know. So like a pro way, you know. But uh, most people will mount right here, somewhere here, okay. And, uh, the motor uh, basically just two nuts right here. You just take out this uh, this nuts. Oh no no no! Don't let go. Okay, that's a little clam. And then you can just put on your nuts. Okay. And uh, stay on my uh, electric tape location. And then uh, put on the clamp. Both sides. And put on the nuts. Okay, of course you're gonna tie it, right? Tie it up so there's a screw right in the front. So you're gonna tie these nuts, okay? So once you tie it, that's it. That's uh, how you uh, install it, you know? So like I say, this is a super easy to uh, installation. I mean, if you have one foil board, it's not windy day, you can just put this on and keep riding on the water. And uh, so, so this will be just leave in the water, okay? And then uh, that's my uh, battery. It's very uh, thin design. It won't cause much room on your board, you know. Uh, but uh, before that, I actually use this kind of waterproof box and this kind of common uh, 6S battery. So that's common 6S battery, you know, you can get from the Amazon. That's a little bit over a hundred dollars for each of these. So that little box can actually put three of these, okay? And I put the connector and outside connector to my system outside. Just give you some idea. I mean, you can, if you want to save some money, I mean, you can definitely buy some battery like that and put a, a waterproof box and link in this way uh, it's just some idea and uh, this is my battery okay i build the battery like this um, this is a six size uh, 50 uh, amp hour battery it's much bigger battery okay um, and i have a waterproof connector as well so this is a waterproof you can see the connector right here they have little uh, o-ring little o-ring over there so when you plug in it will be sealed it's a watertight sealed and also the the connector is different it's a positive and negative is different so you won't mess up so the positive can only goes to the positive negative can only goes to the negative so I can uh, connect to the battery right here. Positive and uh, negative. That's a confirm sound. Dun, 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 dun. That's a confirm sound. Once you got a confirm sound, which, which means that the system is ready to use. And uh, that's my uh, throttle. My throttle will be like this on the water. And uh, control with your, uh, you know, two finger, one finger. You know, you can just turn the motor on. 
That's why I don't want to put on the <laughs> propeller right now. That would be dangerous, you know. I just put it right here, okay. And uh, there, there's a kill switch right here. If I uh, turn on the motor, so just like I fall in the water, so this will be still on my hand, right? And uh, the motor will be stopped. So that's a kill switch. Uh, once you are back on the board, you want to turn back to the initial points, and then reconnect again, yeah, and reconnect here. Okay, so if you don't return here, you just connect and the motor will be suddenly power up. I mean, that's not good. <laughs> it feels like scary. So that's the only thing you need to remember to return these two initial points and then uh, plug in. So they're, they're a little uh, floating part. Uh, floating tube so so if if it is actually fall in the water it will still float you know little thing so once you reconnect there are the power right here so you can keep right that's it uh, let me show you uh, so if you got power you turn it out you back on the board you forgot to turn this back on, turn this back in the initial point, and then you plug in. Okay. So the motor will be suddenly start, start. So that's a little bit scary. So always remember you turn this back in, you know. But if you uh, try it a couple of times, you always remember that it's become a nature to you. So. Yeah, that's the whole system. That's the whole system. Um, so everything is completely waterproof. Like I said, the battery uh, is waterproofed inside out. So the inside each cell block of the each cell is being waterproof, and then the outside being waterproof as well. So the inside out. It's been waterproof battery, and the connector is waterproof. Like I say, they have a seal. You know, whenever you connect, it's sealed in. Okay, and the motor is been waterproofed. This is a all runner motor, so uh, all the coil inside has a epoxy covered, uh, and also the all the bearing. It's been changed to the stainless steel bearing. So it's completely waterproof as well. I actually have a video for those, how you uh, waterproof the brushless motor. Uh, for my uh, single motor, that's the uh, in-runner. It doesn't move from here, it's only move from here. You know? uh, for my in-runner, it's also waterproof as well. So, yeah, everything, the, 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 the throttle is waterproof as well. This is a fully waterproof, you know. You can live in the water without any problem. So everything is waterproof. Everything is ready to use. And uh, you can see it's super easy to install. You just two nuts uh, mount on your uh, mast. And uh, you can get it right. It's just how easy this is, you know. Uh, super easy system. And uh, the weight is very light. It's only seven pounds for the motor system. A uh, little bit heavier on the, the single motor. That's seven pounds, that's eight pounds. Uh, the battery is 16 pounds. That you can, you know, calculate how much weight is you gonna carry, you know. Um, very lightweight, a completely add-on system for the wind foil board. So uh, whenever you have wind foil board, and uh, you want to ride in the non-windy day, I mean, this is your best setup. Uh, it's super easy. Everywhere is right here. <laughs> you know, easy install. And uh, easy to uh, carry on. Lightweight, everything. Okay. Uh, any question, uh, let me know. And uh, all the system are uh, ready on my website to order. And uh, hope you uh, enjoy your ride. Thank you. Bye.